once verdict is handed down, we can expect the following options. If found guilty on premeditated murder, a statutory limitation of life imprisonment is prescribed unless compelling and substantial circumstances exist to deviate. If found guilty on mere murder, the court must impose imprisonment of no less than 15 years to a maximum of 20 years. If he is acquitted on the murder charge but found guilty on the competent verdict being culpable homicide, the court might be inclined to impose up to a maximum of 15 years imprisonment, no minimum. On the second and the third counts being discharging of a firearm in a public place, a court is entitled to impose a maximum of five years imprisonment on each of these counts, no minimum. On the last count being the unlawful possession of ammunition, a court might be inclined to impose up to 15 years imprisonment, no minimum. Obviously, in terms of our law, there are numerous other sentencing options available, one of which is uh, to make, ensure that he pays a penalty fine, in other words, a financial fine uh, for his wrongdoing, instead of going to prison on one or more of these charges. Also, correctional supervision is a possibility, having various forms in itself, one of which is house arrest, uh, to undergo uh, probation, uh, uh, probation in itself and numerous other possibilities intertwined with it. And that, in short, is what it's all about.